all Transformers, more that meets the eye. Transformers, robots in disguise. F footy cards, more that meets the eye. It, see, opti Optimum made me think of Optimus Prime, which made me think of Transformers, which is why I'm singing a bad version of the Transformers there. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to Elbow the Top. My name's Adam, and today we're going to be cracking open a full box of 2021 Optimum. Now, I did not get this drop. I did not manage to get these beautiful football cards in this beautiful box. Look at this box. How beautiful is that? Ozzy, you can totally see me in it. There, there I am right there. Hey. If you can see me weighing. This is not mine. Uh, these are not my cards. These are my friend Dan1. We'll call him Dan1. Uh, if you've watched like my footy tipping videos, no, my brown leather tipping videos and things like that, you'll know that I've got two mates named Dan1, Dan2, both Essendon supporters. And uh, Dan1 is the one that collects footy cards as well. And he uh, managed to pick up four of these boxes. He's cracked three open, pulled some beautiful cards. Um, uh, however, he saved one for me so I could crack on the channel because he knows that I missed out on all of the drop so today is the day we get to finally crack these open let's get into it let's get excited now he has told me to uh not tell him what i pull out of these he actually wants to sit down and watch the video and be surprised so that's very exciting he wants to sit down and watch it uh let's get this open now it's my wife's room my wife's desk now so it should be scissors yes there are scissors uh you gotta love my wife. You gotta love my wife. She is way, way more organized than me. Uh, there is the the code right there. Uh, D six seven eight four zero zero nine. Is that a lucky number? No idea. There it is. The box looks man. That's a good looking box, right? So we got seven cards per pack and twenty four packs in total. Let's uh, just put a nice little slice across there. Let's get that security seal gone. It's no turning back now, no reselling. We are cracking this thing today and see what we got. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't actually looked at what many of the cards are in there. I'm pretty sure that you get, that you're supposed to get at least two signatures. There's like the Optimum cards and the headliners look really, really cool. Let's uh, let's break that seal, shall we? And, <sighs> seal broken. Also, box, box scratched. I hope my mate Dan doesn't want to keep this box for any reason because I just scratched it with scissors. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Now, all right, let's crack this thing. I was going to say that, you know, when he gave it to me, I just threw it in my bag. He's like, why are you just throwing it in your bag? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you, what are you doing? He's not that, that intense. Whoa, look how beautiful. Whoa, look at... The, it's like, it's got like foam around it and like little holes to pull out the packs in. Wow, this has got to be one of the most beautiful boxes I've ever seen select or any footy cards has made. This is gorgeous. Wow. So each each uh, each pack, 24 divided by 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 8. 8, 16, 24 makes sense. There'll be 8 in each one of them. Do I mix them up? And the question is, do I mix them up or do I open up pat batch by batch? Let's open up batch by batch, hey, because that's the way uh, footy uh, select the select gods are letting us do it. Let's open up batch one, batch two, batch three. It's not like you're able to, you know, box scan these or anything like that. So, like, you know, because you ain't getting this. These sold out in like thirty seconds to a minute. I was there for both drops straight away there, trying to put it in. Got to the each time, got to the payment screen, and like they, you know, they told me that there was no inventory available. So it was rough times. I was very, very disappointed because I really wanted to open these cards. So I'm so glad that Dan One has allowed me to. Now let's look at the back of the pack. Let's see what's inside here. Now there's a lot of numbered cards from memory. All right, let's have a look. Optimum Plus is 220 cards. So I assume that's the uh, one per two. All right, so you get an Optimum per two. Uh, Optimum Plus Parallel. I don't know what these look like, but we'll find out at together, shall we? I haven't actually watched anyone else open these these this boxes as well. Mostly because they're probably a little bit sad. I'm like, oh, why do I want to watch someone open them when I didn't get to open any? Uh, I now go back and rewatch them. Uh, draft Pick Signatures Copper is 1 in 20. Headliner is, is 1 in 24. So that's a box hit. So you'll get one headliner. Uh, Specialist, 1 in 24. So we get that in, uh, in, one in one per box as well. Then the rest are all possible. So Draft Signature Gold, 1 in 40. Draft Signature Platinum is 1 in 88. Man, they're really laying he heavily on that Draft Signature, aren't they? Optimum Mirror is 1 in 96. All Australian is 1 in 400, 100, 144. All Australian is 144. That's wow. 
Optimum Mirror Dual Signature Redemption is 1 in 240. Influential is 1 in 288. And 2020 Medal Winners is 1 in 840. What? Medal Winners. Medal Winners weren't even um, labeled in last year's product, right? They weren't even numbered. Like the Dusty one didn't even have numbers on it. So, well, I know what I want to pull. I want to pull the uh, the 2020 Dusty uh, medal, medal for him. That's what I want to pull. And I'm sure he wants to be pull it as well. He, while he's not a Richmond supporter, he knows Richmond supporters and uh, Richmond cards are worth the absolute most. All right, let's get cracking. Let's find out what happens. I've got nice, clean hands. I promised Dan one that I would clean my hands. I promised all that sort of stuff. And let's have a look. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I like the look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. I feel like they'll definitely be 100%. Bailey Scott. Man, cool looking cards. I like the little uh, little thing down the side, right? The little um, uh, wiggle down the side. And my first one is BAM! I don't know what that is. Optimum Platinum. I'm going to have to look at the pack. <laughs> Optimum. Optimum Plus. Optimum Plus. Okay, so that's just a parallel. That's one in eight. So we'll see a bunch of those ones from Trent McKenzie from Port Adelaide. All right, so that's our first... Um, Decent pull, but no, nothing too special so far. And the orange looks good. I like orange. I think orange is one of my favorite colors. And there's... Oh, I nearly skipped it. Richmond in the uh, final one. Maybe I can convince... Um, maybe I can convince my mate Dan Juan to give me a set of the commons. Hopefully, he can. Uh, uh, we can pull a full set of these ones. Or at the, very, at the very least, a full set of Richmond commons. So I can keep those ones. So I got something from this product. Because I'm, I'm not getting anything. I am not getting anything. All right. Jordan Roughhead. Tom Lynch. Did he move? No. Yes, I think he might be moving in the trade. Port Adelaide, uh, header card. And BAM! Optimum Plus in the Sydney Swan. So that's our uh, continuing, the, continuing the same thing. Isaac Heaney. They're good looking cards, aren't they? They're not, are they numbered? They're not numbered, are they? Oh man, they are! Whoa, number 9 of 455! Whoa, that's low. Wait, I didn't even look at the number of the other one. 10 of 455! Man, you! Dan 1 is getting some low cards. Also, we're obviously looking for um, jumper numbers in that. I don't know their jumpers. So someone could be screaming at the screen going, Hang on, Isaac Heaney is number nine. That card is worth a billion gazillion dollars. Don't think it is, but, you know. Even if it was a jumper number, I don't think it's worth a billion gazillion. Because, let's face it, I don't think a billion gazillion even exists. Man, it feels good to be opening packs at a table like this. I haven't done this for ages. Oh, it's so good. All right, Tom McDonald. Daniel Talia. Uh, Jeremy McGovern. Bam! There is a pick and a half. We've got Connor Downey from the Hawks. Gra draft pick signature. Is that draft pick signature one, two? In, this is okay. That's the first signature. Is this going to be? You know, let's just pop that one down there. Devin Smith and Cordy and Daniel Rioli. Another Tiger that I'm going to convince him to give me for free. All right, let's have a look. So this is now. There's like a million different draft signatures, right? This is. Is it copper? Is it gold or is it platinum? It looks like it should be platinum, right? Whatever it is, it's going to need a sleeve. Now, when he gave me his box, he actually forgot to give me the sleeves. I told him I was going to open it on Thursday, but turns out I can have time to do it on Wednesday. So there it is. Connor Downey. The number is 142. That is definitely not his one. This is on the back if it's copper or... It looks like it should be copper. That that looks like copper, right? Very cool. First card down. Uh, we've got the Connor Downey. Hawks fans. I have no idea about Connor Downey. Did he uh, debut this season? Did he get his first game? I, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. The Hawks didn't have a great season, so they would have been ble uh, blooding some young players. So you may as well give your rookies rookies a run. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Connor Downey got a run this season. Number 35 pick, and it looks like his number is 41. Let's keep cracking along. Cracker lacking along. Jake Mahoney. Dan Houston. Dan Houston fan, there you are. Brady Grundy. And the optimum of Tom Mitchell. That's a good get. Uh, I want to say Tom Mitchell's number three. He's definitely not 179, but hey, I wonder if oh, Isaac Heaney is number nine. I'm just trying to imagine I Isaac Heaney flying through his marks, or like, you know, sometimes he's defense, sometimes he's forward. He's very versatile player, Isaac Heaney. Um, I'm just trying to remember, is it number nine he's back? Oh, it's a very low number. It's a very, very low number. Matt DeBoer is on the back. Let's get rid of it. Let's keep doing. Shane Burgoyne. Sean, Shane? Sure, Sean, sorry. <laughs> Shane Bergwin. And, oh, is this going to be a nothing pack? This is a nothing pack. Wah, 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 wah. Now, there will be a few nothing packs because, as you saw on the back of the pack, the car the um, like regular optimum cards are like one in two, uh, which means, um, you know, there'll be, a pack, there'll be packs without anything in there, which is always bad to feel bad. But let's feel bad for this sort of product because 
Nobody's selling these, you know, retail just one pack at a time. You buy in a box or you're not getting any. That's the way it works. Sam Wiedemann. Oh, that is a good card. Maurice Rioli Jr. Optimum Plus rookie card. Not signature, of course, but... Number 57, I don't think he's number 57, I can't really remember, but that is awesome. He's a player that Richmond, the Richmond fan base is very, very excited about. I know that's not as important as the, <laughs> as the thing, but what's, what's the rookie card? Can anyone see where the rookie card number is? No, I don't know. I have no idea if that's, uh, if that's rare or not. I doubt it is, but there it is. Maurice, Maurice Rioli Jr., that is awesome. I'm going to be trying to convince uh, Dan one that uh, I need to have that card. I need to have that card indeed. Let's uh, throw a bit of a slice, a slice, a sleeve on that one to protect that bad boy. There it is. Throw that one in there. Maurice Rioli Jr. Rookie card, which is very, very cool to have as a Richmond supporter. Let's finish off our commons there. Any Tigers? Nothing in there in the end. All right. Now, I feel like I'm really slow rolling this whole thing. We are already up to 11 minutes. If I only open up the back. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's get a bit quicker, hey? Sam Palpepper. John Noble. Jake Kelly has just been traded to the uh, Bombers, which I reckon that's a great trade for the Bombers. And our optimum is Adam Cher Chera. I'm going to say his name correctly from now on. 248 on there. No jumper number. And Noah Bolter. Ah, looking for Tiger fans. Looking forward to getting Noah Bolter back that season. And we're getting Robbie Tarrant as well, who pretty much is a straight replace for um, David Asprey, who's retiring. So I feel like our defense is, uh, once we're back to full health, is uh, going to be pretty, uh, pretty fearsome again. Because I think Robbie Tarrant is a very experienced player, and he's going to slot into the team incredibly well following following the game plan. Luke Bruce, Cozzy Pickett, congratulations, Melbourne Premiership, and Rory Sloan. That's a good get. He's like three, isn't he? He's definitely not 179. Man, those are two early uh, parallels. The two early um, parallels, they are they are cracking um, pretty good as far as getting those low numbers. All right, we are into the second batch. We are into the second batch. Let's get cracking. Let's get moving, let's get shaking, let's get grooving, eh? All right. Uh, Jonathan Segler. Jordan Berry. Oh, is this a nothing pack? This is a Camden Macintosh. Go Tigers. This is a nothing pack, apart from the Camden, in my opinion. All right, let's keep going. Nothing pack to start the middle rung that is this whole thing. West Coast Eagles. Ooh, the Eagles. West Coast Eagles and a rookie card for Ollie Lord because we've just pulled a second one. I assume they're not super rare. Number 63. I don't think he's been number 63. There's not many players in the AFL with a number that high. Uh, but I did put the Maurice Rioli into a sleeve, so I'll just leave that one out, I guess. All right, let's crack it. It's the Ultimate Plus, plus rookie card. I don't know, maybe that falls under the Ultimate, Ultimate Plus parallels or something like that. Maybe the, the rookies just have the RC on it instead of, like, the parallels. I don't know. Billy Frampton. <laughs> Billy Frampton. And Hunter Clark. I thought that was Jordan Steele for a second. The number is 154. He is not 154. Um, I would like to see, I know it's a weird thing to see, but I would like to see one day a player to have a number in the AFL of three digits. How cool would that be to see someone like, I know it's pretty much not done in any sport, but it'd be cool if someone has like 170 as their, as their number. I wonder if Dusty Martin turned around and said, hey, guys, I want to be number 433. Make it happen. If Richmond just goes, yeah, fine, whatever. You did Dusty Martin. Mitch Duncan is not number 33. I'm pretty sure he's... I remember he's four. Cats fans, am I, am I correct on that one? Mitch Wallace and Buffet from the Cats. Uh, yeah, if I feel like if someone like Dusty said, no, I want to be 433. I don't want to be number four anymore. 433 or I'm, or I'm leaving. The Richmond will turn around and say, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Just lost part of my light. Let's push forward. Jay Lockhart, Sam Frost, another Optiman, and it's the North Melbourne. Oh, the checklists. Oh, the parallels on the checklist look absolutely sweet. Um, and 422. I'm pretty sure that's exactly where on the ladder North Melbourne finished that season, right? 422. Oh, the big guys. <laughs> Sorry, North fans. A little bit of a jab there. <laughs> look... North is uh, is making me feel a little bit sad at the moment because it looks like they're going to be getting Coleman Jones and that trade's going to end up for the the downside of the Richmond Football Club. We've already lost Cholly, now we're getting a Coleman Jones, so I'm just feeling a little bit sad at the moment in regards to all that. Headliner, Buddy Franklin, Mr. Lance Franklin, one of the greats, one of the best. That is a great headliner. Um, well, is it is it he's single digit at nineteen of twenty five? That is a one in in box hit. Go Tigers, Liam Baker. Man, Liam Baker's a little gun, isn't he? That is a great hit. That is one of our box hits. 
let's put that away nice and easy. That goes into our uh, that goes into our Pokemon sleeve. There you go. Uh, my mate is also a Pokemon fan along with me. Uh, and that is a great look. Man, the headliners look cool, man. I'm sad we only get one in a box because that looks damn that looks sweet. I really like the headliners. I like I, I like cards that dare to go on the side. You know, you got the you've got the what we call uh, portrait shape and then landscape. And I love the fact that it's a landscape, but it's of a portrait of his face. Headliner, there we go, Buddy Franklin. That's a good headliner to get, I think. Buddy is a legend of the game, absolute gun, and good one to get. We've only got two left in the middle section for this box. Let's get a cracker like on along, shall we? All right, uh, Josh Thomas, Cam Reiner, Tim O'Brien, and. Bam! Isaac Ranky, small forward specialist. Now that is a box hit as well, isn't it? Whoa, the middle, uh, the middle section is coming up big for us. Was that the specialist? Yeah, one in twenty-four. So this is a box hit for Isaac Ranky. That is uh, potentially a very good card in the future. I think Ranky has got a huge, huge, huge future. Thirty-four. I don't think he's number thirty-four though. He may be, but he's. I yeah, don't think he is. There it is. That is our specialist. That is a cool looking card too. I think I still like. The look of the headliner a bit more, but I do have a look. This is this looks very like '90s, which is pretty cool. It kind of looks like the wrestling cards. Anyone see me? Uh, uh, what? Anyone watch my uh, wrestling card video where I was opening up um, uh, the? Oh, I can't remember what the set's called now. It kind of looks like where is it? Yeah, I just grabbed these real quick. It looks like the slam attacks, like the um, the slam attacks, like the, these real '90s style, like these real '90s style um, wrestling cards with like the lightning and all that sort of stuff. Did anyone watch these videos where I was, I was cracking open these wrestling cards? I love opening these wrestling cards. The new set's out. I just haven't been able to get it. I haven't uh, sent and got any. But these ones, like, does this not look like it should be in this set? Right? <laughs> Come on. Go on. Let's put it next to someone who's sweet. Well, no. Go on. Roman Reigns. I would like to see a wrestling match between Roman Reigns and Isaac Ranky. Who do you think would win? What do you reckon? Right. Let's face it. Roman Reigns would probably literally squish Isaac Ranky. But... It's a cool card. All right, specialist. Our box hits are done. We've got one fantastic signature from the Hawks. Let's see if we can keep on cracking along and get something good for Dan. One. Remember, these cards are not in my card, so do not email me saying, "Hey, can I trade you this card?" I know that he's probably going to be wanting to sell some of the cards that he is and wanting. He's definitely looking for the S and S and Bomber cards. Uh, so, if there is something you do want, you can email me and say, "Hey, can you pass an offer along?" Um, but I'm pretty sure he's not looking for trades. Oh, bro, man. Bailey Frisch, how good of a grand final did he have? Came second in Norm Smith. He was never going to beat... Um, Way! Oh, he's going to be excited about this. It's Jake Stringer. Uh, let's just finish that. Oh, he's going to be so excited about this. He's got an Essendon headliner card of Jake Stringer. That is awesome. Ah, oh, and we got number 46. He's not number 46, but man, that is awesome. He's going to be so happy about the Essendon card. I literally was just finishing saying that we haven't pulled a good Essendon card yet. Uh, we haven't pulled a good Essendon card yet, and he would, that's what he'd be looking for. And bam! As if the football gods wanted to bring it to me. Headliner, Jake Stringer. That is exciting, because uh, my Dan one, whose box this is and whose cards these belong to, is an Essendon supporter. So he's going to be very happy about that Jake Stringer uh, card right there. That is awesome. Okay, so we got... Hang on. We got two headliners, and headliners are one in 24. How does that make any sense? Uh, so in that middle section... In that middle section, we pulled the two headliners and the Isaac Ranky. We pulled three box hits. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Does that make sense? Look, I know I'm not a maths teacher anymore. I don't teach maths anymore. Uh, but that doesn't make any sense to me, right? What uh, have we got here? What is? Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, hope Dan one didn't want to keep these packs in pristine because that one is definitely not. All right, let's keep cracking. This is the uh, the start of this. This is the first pack in the third bunch. We've only got eight packs left. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey, and I hope you're enjoying the video. Oh! <laughs> Samson Ryan, draft pick for the Tigers. If you're not going to get your team's cards, you want to get Richmond because they're worth the most. And Samson Ryan potentially is going to get a lot more game time with us losing Chol and um, CJ this season. Number 40? <gasps> Oh, he got the 40 pick as well. So he got pick number 40, and it's number 40. Oh, he's going to love this card. Oh, he's going to love this card. I'm going to love this card, and I'm going to try to convince him to give it to me for a good, for a good price. He's going to love this card, number 40. 
Samson Ryan, which is the draft pick. I don't, I don't think Samson Ryan is number 40, but imagine if his number is number 40, his draft pick is number 40, and the number 40 just came out. That is absolutely awesome. So he got his draft pick number in the card. That is... Oh, wait, wait it's not 40. I'm an absolute fool. It says 32 right there. However, if you're not going to get 32, you want the number 40, and he just pulled the second best Samson Ryan draft card. And of course, Samson Ryan being a Tiger, that is worth money. Although, let's face it, Samson Ryan's first game was not the best game of any anyone. <laughs> I think he had zero touches, <laughs> didn't he, <laughs> from memory? But that is a great pull. He's going to be very excited about that. That is awesome. That is first pack, which means we've got seven packs less to go. Come on, Dan One. Let's get something good. I still don't know. I still don't know if that's copper, platinum, or whatever. No idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. But there's two, there's two signatures come out. And, all right, uh, Jordan Dugowie. And Jordan Go is not number 187. And no Tigers in that one. Oh, oh, I'm so excited that I'm so excited for him. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm just happy that he's letting me open up a box because, like, these cards are beautiful. But I, you know, just not didn't get any because they just sell out in, like, moments. Moments they're selling out. Absolute moments. Uh, let's have a look here. We haven't got an uh, influential or anything yet. Uh, it looks like a... <laughs> such a good set. Dylan Grimes go Tigers. Uh, that was a nothing pack. However, we did get a Dylan Grimes, and we got to see that magnificent mustache on Scott Lysett. How good is that? How good is that? All right, let's get cracking. All right, let's open up these ones and put that up there. All right, we've got Shane McAdam, Zach Bailey, Bro uh, Brody Majek, and a Zach Merritt in the Optimum Plus. He's going to be happy with that being the bomber support. I've dropped it, and it is 100. That's pretty cool. Have the 100. Some people like to collect specific numbers, and if someone's going to collect a specific number, I feel like, you know, 100 is a cool number to collect. People like the even, those even numbers. All right, let's have a look. All right, we've got, we've got three packs left after this one. What are we getting? We're getting something in there. It's a Sam Walsh Ultimum. <gasps> 198, no. Okay, it's not a jumping number, but still, Sam, Sam Walsh, that is going to be desirable as well. He's going to be able to move these on, probably. Um, he'll, I think he'll keep the Essendon ones um, and then try to move the other ones on. So if there is anything you want, he's not looking for trades, unless it's probably for a good Essendon card. I don't I don't know. I, I haven't actually talked to him about that. Um, however, he'll definitely be looking to, uh, to to make a little bit of money out of these ones. And I, I'm going to assume that that is the Optimum Plus. 109, uh, Bradley Hill, go Tigers, Jack Graham. Richmond's future captain, in my opinion. We haven't announced it yet, but I think he's going to be uh, going to be our captain. Um, is that, what, what, so that's, okay, so what is, what's that? Is that Optimum Plus Parallel? <laughs> and the other ones are just the Optimum Plus? One per two, I, I don't know. If it is, that's one in eight. That's definitely hasn't been, that, that ratio hasn't hit out there. Maybe you guys can tell me, what is that card? Man, I don't know. I should have done more research on this set, but I remember that. Remember, like then they when they brought out the previews to this set. It was just suddenly all in one big video, and I remember my son. I was actually walking my son trying to watch the uh, we're trying to watch the video. Uh, we were going down to the park, and then like before we knew it, the cards were already coming out, and then I didn't get them. So I was like, oh, probably not worth doing it for a, a preview video for. But of course, I'll do. But go back to my preview videos once we hit the uh, new ones as well. Daniel Rich, Isaac Quinoa. I like to call him Isaac. Ah, oh, this is a nothing pack, isn't it? That's a nothing pack. Okay, well, at least we're not going to finish on a nothing pack. we got one pack left. One little packy right here. One little pack that has, it was pretty munted in the top, actually. <laughs> Thanks. All right, let's crack this open. Let's see how Dan Dan One's box finishes up. Let's set something good. Let's pull that influential. Come on, everyone. Let's get, to the, let's get a bit of luck. If you, I want you to kiss the pack for luck. Can you kiss it? Kiss the screen, the screen. If you're on, if you're on your computer, if you're on your on your on your phone, like give it a big old kiss. You ready? Mwah! That's the luck kiss right there, because something good is coming out of this pack. Thank you to everybody who has just kissed the screen for luck for Dan one. Let's pull something absolutely amazing in this final pack. Let's do it. All right. Good news is I can see something, which means it's not a nothing pack. Whew. Okay, here we go. Come on, down one. How are we finishing? Is it the luck? And, huh! nope, it's just uh, the big O in an Optimum Plus. Hey, Jason Castagna in the Tiger. So, and that is number 120. That was not the big finale I wanted. However, 
There's some good cards in there. There's some very, very, very good cards in there. Let's go to the uh, the the breakdown, shall we? All right, let's look at some of these pools. All right, in our parallels, we've got the big O. We've got Jordan to go. There's some good players in here, hey? Tom Mitchell. Isaac Heaney. Again, is Isaac Heaney number nine? I don't know. I'm going to look at after this video. Trent McKenzie was also a low number. Is he number 10? I don't know. I can't remember. We've got the North Melbourne checklist, which I'm pretty sure, again, North Melbourne finished 422nd in, this, in last season. Mitch Duncan. Hunter Clark. Rory Sloan, Adam Chera. Then we move into this Optimum Plus, whatever that is. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, oh, Sam Walsh. We forgot, I forgot that one. And Zach Merritt, which he's going to be very, very excited about getting that Zach Merritt right there. Then we've got the Optimum Plus in the uh, rookie cards. We've got Ollie Lord and... A card that I'm going to try to convince him to give to me. Maurice Rioli Jr. in the rookie card as well. We've got our special of Isaac Ranke, who unfortunately we have discussed will lose to Roman Reigns in a wrestling match. we got the big headliners of Lance Franklin and Jake Stringer. He is a Bombers fan, so he's going to be very, very excited about that headliner. And of course, our two rookie cards, our draft rookie signature cards, is Connor Downey. But I think the pull of the box has got to be the Samson Ryan signature and the pick number as well. So this card was number... Oh, I got a no... I got a no pack. But he was pick number 40. And the card is number 40 out of 85. I think that is a big pull for him. I think that is a huge pull for him. And I'm very excited from the fact that he got that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you like and comment down below if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to consider maybe hitting that bell icon and coming along with me on my YouTube journey. I've got plenty, plenty more videos coming out, even over the off-season. I'll be getting some, uh, I'll be doing a few uh, footy drops every now and then, here and there, maybe one a week. I'll, I'll see, see what I can do, opening up some old stuff, talking about footy, all that sort of thing. But of course, I'll be getting back into big-time Pokemon now that Pokemon's starting to filter back through the system, which is awesome. Um, also, I've got some very exciting exciting things. We're going to look at some digital collectibles called NFTs. I'm going to show you some of that um, and uh, doing some wrestling and all that sort of fun stuff as well. But apart from all that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, being amazing. And as always, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>